another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a uh, awesome liner. We're going to expand this by either side by one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight blocks uh, okay on either side with the symmetry on you can do this by the side of the screen it'll be a little plus like this it'll be kind of like this and you just cut the red one and that's it and now we're going to expand and now we're going to click the blue one okay now this is going to allow us to build on the back and the front. We're going to expand this by... We're going to expand this by... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 7 blocks. Let's make that 8. Eight blocks, and this is going to be kind of like the middle of your ship. So, how I like to build ships is I like to start with like the middle of the hull just to see what shape I'm going to get. So, we're going to start with our angles, and now you're going to what you're going to do is on either side, you're going to place a row of blocks just like that. And then what you're going to do is, with these blocks, you're going to pull up, you're going to do it like by two. In fact, now remove, you can remove these blocks now. These blocks are just to show you how tall it's going to be. You want it to be. Just as like a guideline. And now you're going to turn the blue one off and come back to the red one. And you're just going to pull across like that. And then pull across on the top one until both bits connect, connect kind of connect there. Yeah. And then this is kind of going to give you the bottom, your rounded hull shape. See, can you see that? You can see that balance like through. Okay. So now what we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to step up the angle going into our in the menu where we get the blocks and we're going to go to a 1 by 2 No smaller, no bigger. Now, can you see? Can you see our rounded shape? Now, what we're going to do is, when we get this shape, so I want to see if I can add another one on here. Does, is that going to look good? Is it going to look too, or, or is it going to look bad? Uh, mm, I don't know yet. How is that? Uh, I don't know about this. Um, we'll go with it. We're just going to pull up by five. So this is roughly going to be how tall our hull is. And now, today's episode, we're only going to work on the bow of the hull. If you pull it up one more, like just across it. So this is going to be like kind of like a boiler room or something. I'll show you how to build the boiler later. Or another time. And now we're going to extend forward. I'll tell you how far we're going to go forward in a minute. One by one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. I'm just going to mark that. Twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five. Anyway, see you in the cemetery. So how these big kind of squares. It, this is how many so in this square they're gonna place one block and then it's gonna be one hole. Then it's gonna be two, three, four five six whole squares and then two blocks on the end see that look and then two on the end now over at the front we're going to get a one by two angle remember it See over there oops this pointed up the screen sorry about that folks we're going to pull this up up a couple let's the wrong way I'm just gonna make a bulbous bow shape while well, not doing a bulbous bow oh I mean if you want us to do like a cruise ship or something I mean we can but no no we're doing a we're doing an ocean liner was that an ocean liner yeah it was an ocean liner well, we're going to be making a ship. Whatever I said it was going to be. Yeah, did I say it was a paddle steamer? Or did I say it was... Um, I think I did say it was an ocean liner. Um, paddle steamer may be coming soon. And now, we're going to basically extend this full floor forward to the two squares and two blocks behind, so like, four squares in a block. And then do what, in fact, so what I'm going to do is, that's another build, let me show you how to make, but not for now, not for now. That could be something. Well, I've got to copy this. I'm basically just going to paste it along. It's okay if you get to the end and it has to overlap. You see, look, I'm going to have to overlap it. Just like this. See? We have to merge it all together so it's all the one thing. And then I have to clear this. Move over to the other side. And... Do the same. And yeah, but using the copy and paste thing in order so I don't have to recreate that going all the way across. Just so it's not as long and annoying for me and just of course because I don't want you to be sitting here watching me rebuild this going all the way up doing a hole but no but never mean to click that but uh, as you can see we're starting to get a rounded hole shape but now right now down here, we're gonna need a pavement. Just a pavement. This is gonna be a one by one pavement. It's just called a pavement. But now, see, I think I might need. I I will need to bring this all forward. See, I'll bring it forward by another one of these. 
Ich glaube, von dir was. I'm just gonna see. Does this connect any better? I think I think it might be too big. Yep, I was like too big indeed. I think I need to cut it back by two blocks like that. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna see how this turns out. If this turns out to actually connect with the bib of the ship. And it looks like it does. Now we're actually going to delete this front bit. We're going to go and get the 1x2 pyramid. We're going to get rid of this for the 1x2 pyramid. And this is what we're going to eat. And we're going to place one of these on here. I think I might need. I need to bring this back by one more block. By the time I get back, by the time I've done doing this, I'm going to be back to the same length as the other side. I'm just joking. Yes. Yes. Got it. No, I don't really know if I like, but. I mean, I do have to kind. I do kind of have to go with it because it's kind of all I've got right now. I mean, maybe in a future episode I'll come back and fix that, but not gonna. I just, just cannot wait for the stairs. Like what I, I do not like making stairs and steps like these, but I do it so you just can figure out how you do it. So you can basically say, so what I'm basically saying here is, I'm tormenting myself. So you just know how to make things. Which is, I mean, I kind of like doing it. Not that I like tormenting myself, like, torturing myself, but like, I mean, still. I just don't like it. Just don't find it fun in a seat. Oh, this setup. Ooh. How am I going to connect that to this? Maybe a f here. Let me connect both of them. And we'll see how this looks. If it looks bad, then it looks bad. But, like I said, we could come to change it in a future episode. Uh, maybe one of these. Right, for now, I'm just gonna, it's just gonna have to be like that. But like I said, future episode, I might be, I might figure out a way to change it. And if he has a problem, I just need to connect to that. But this also needs to connect to this. Yeah, maybe if I put one of these on here. Uh... Yeah, um, so I, I know something that will change the whole fix and save this entire video and project. Delete the bow for now. And I'm going to remake the bow to fit this. Why didn't I do that to start? Why didn't I make the bow especially fit this? Like, I need to start using common sense. Anyways, I've, so I can take this forward to there, and I, I will eventually patch up these gaps. Gaps, for, but for now, I'm just going to leave it. And here is where my problems come to meet me again, but not for long. And I've done it. Okay. Now I just need to do it again. But honestly, I kind of like that. I don't like this. I think the bow's like 
too short and like too stubby. I don't really like that though. And up here. Yeah, it's too short and it's too stubby. I don't like it. Uh, maybe. But the only way to fix it is to make the whole wider bit. I don't really want to make it wider. I mean, short and stubby bit it is, I guess. But now, I'm going to get this smaller one. And I'm going to... And here, I'm going to do that. And then let's see. Up here, I mean, I want... Uh, yeah, yeah, it has to be like that. This is where I'm going to store the anchor room and the cargo hold. Um, a few, and a f like, in a few more episodes and how we build this, it's going to be like the interior on that. How I think the interior should be in the down here where we're going to fill in the floor, but not for now. For now we're just going to leave it empty. And we're going to also leave that gap get empty. Oh yeah. Also we need to get rid of this. Move it over here. So can we copy this? Um, so, now that we've done this, here, see, can I just do this? Yes, I can just do that, right? This is our hole, a bow. And now, here, here, I'm going to create a line, and the little bottom there. I'm going to be putting port cabins in that and this. So how about one? Uh, um, I think I'm going to have a lot of bulkhead here. I, think I feel like this is a good place to put one. Next year I'm going to break this. I need to break this. Break this. And break this. This is going to allow our bulkhead to kind of to be watery. Because there's not a bulkhead if it's got holes all over it. Hey guys, and now it's going to, and now I, I think I'm, I'm quite happy with that bulkhead in its position. But for now, and for now, this is going to be our cargo hold. So just to mark it, I'm going to write the letter C. The paint. Go turn the symmetry mode off. See cargo hold. I'll just do a C H for our cargo hold. I made the H a bit too big. That's not to be confused with okay. There we go, that's cowgo hold. Cowgo hold. C H for the C is obviously for cowgo and the H is obviously for hold. And uh, I'm actually gonna map so we have one see because this is closer to the front, I think we'll have I think in fact no, I think we should just have two. Okay. So I'm just gonna quickly map my 
map out where these are going to, where these water type doors are going to go. Okay, so these are where our water type doors are going to go. Off with. I'm going to, instead, I'm going to paint the white grey, I mean, inside. Oh. Yeah, with the point and fill, a hack. Look at that. If you close off the bottom, it won't. It literally won't. Like the point fell got so much. Look! That's simple. And then with the brush, you can just do this. Boom. We've got a bulkhead in our kinda and uh, I'm actually going to make, because I want this to be like a darker grey. Like, I want, yes. Because this kind of reminds me like industrial, like a non-passenger area, or like Titanic or something, which is like down here, this is like kind of a passenger's don't really want to go because this is where all the cargo and all. I mean, I mean, that might be a passenger who wants to sneak down here. Now down here, I'm actually going to have a place for a car to be stored. Like, do you have the dead old fastened cars? I don't know how many funnels this is going to have. It really just depends on its size. I'm just going to be like talking about this well stuff and soft painting. This I'm not really bothered in painting the rest of it right now. It's because I'm just so you're just gonna paint all of this. I should probably should have turned symmetry back on for this. But it's still right now. In fact I'll just I'll just point for a little. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. So easy. Done. Done the painting for the now. Right here, I think this is all going to be the red sets. Yeah, I'm going to quickly spawn this in. I know it's not going to fall, but I just want to see. Oh, that's actually surprising. Look at that. This proves that even, even when this thing's got a lot of weight on it, it's going to fall well. I think she even fall in weak. Normally boats will never float with a like with with a top open, but this one is of course I wasn't expecting it to do that. Like but that's floating good for like just this. But unfortunately that's part one over. Um I don't know, like, maybe like in a few days or a few weeks. Not a few weeks, like maybe like three or four or five days, something like that. The part two, part two is going to come out. But for now, for now, this is, this is our, um, also right now. Now, if you want to go in and save that, and save it, I'm going to save this as, as, we're going to go hold one. Cause this is kind of like the first kind of prototype of it. Yeah. If you did enjoy this video, then like and subscribe. Um, just try get try. The more you like this video, please like, share, comment, comment what after we finish this one. Comment what. Comment if you, like what boat we should make next, a paddle steamer, ocean liner. I mean, we're making an ocean liner for now. So like a paddle steamer. Or I mean, we could make like a cruise ship. Anyways, comment down below like interior ideas. Like, should we have like, should we have elevators next to the grand staircase? Like, oh, that's in the elevators. I think we should do that, but anyways. Comment any ideas if you have any, and just like, share, comment. Please don't dislike, please, please. It really hurts my feelings when people dislike and get really sad. So please don't do it, and also just subscribe. 
I've told you this like 20 times now, but just subscribe. And at the end of these videos, I'm going to tell you a little joke. So, why, why did the chicken cross the playground? Any guesses in the comments? Do you get to the other side?